Welcome to the Traffic Domination Podcast, where entrepreneurs come for traffic answers. And here are your hosts, Rob Reese and Wayne Pro. Hey, what's going on, guys? Rob Reese here with the host, with the most, Wayne Crow. How's everybody doing today? You're How listening you to the Traffic Domination Podcast, where we talk about everything internet marketing and traffic. Um, guys, we've got a great show for you today. We've got a special super affiliate guest with us, Igor, Igor Kafitz. Hey, let me let me ask you, Igor. What kind of name is that, by the way? Is it uh, is it like a, a far far east uh, type of name? Uh, are you originally from uh, the northern America area? I know you're living in Canada now, right? <laughs> well, it's a complicated name. That's what it is. Okay, <laughs> and, uh, of course. And most people get it completely wrong. But I got. I mean, my my hat is off to you, man. You've you've nailed it. So uh, <laughs> it's a Jewish it's a Jewish name. Um, it's Eastern European. Okay, so you know, my wife is actually in Israel as we speak. Uh, so it's very, very strange that you would say, "Hey, it's a, it's, it's a Jewish name." Uh, she's there for business, but um, I, I can't wait to go. I'm actually going to Israel in November this year, visiting the Holy Land. We we talk about religion all the time on the program. No, we don't. No, we don't. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, I am visiting in uh, in November of this year. I can't wait to go and check it out. Uh, but man, I gotta tell you, Wayne, uh, I've been, I got this back problem, man. It's just killing me. So if I end up passing out on the show today, please take over, forgive man. me. <laughs> You'll I'm, take I'm over. Expert, I'm an expert, <laughs> uh, Listen, listen, today is a big show because we've got super affiliate, super traffic man. It's it's almost like you should be wearing a cape, Igor. Okay, because you are the the guy. Let me go get it. Let me go get it. <laughs> you are the guy that really everybody talks about in the super affiliate circles uh, when it comes to traffic and and really f forming their business after the model that you have kind of built over the years of you actually coming up into super affiliate status. Um, Tell us a little bit about your beginnings on in, in getting involved with internet marketing. Why you got started? Did you have like a a rags to riches kind of story? Give us a little bit of the juicy story behind Igor. Well, bro, I mean it's such a cliche my story, and I almost like <laughs> I'm almost bored telling it to people because nobody would even believe it. But I I, I immigrated from Ukraine to Israel when I was 12 years old. And so just six months after we immigrated, my dad suffers a heart attack. It goes into a biopsy, um, into a bypass, not a biopsy, a bypass, where they basically take a couple of uh, veins or blood vessels from his leg and switch them up in, with the blood vessels in his chest so the blood in his chest can pump you know, properly. And so he's out of the workplace for the next year and a half. So here we are in a brand new country. We, we don't speak the language. My mom can't find any, wor any work. My dad can't work because he's physically incapable at this point. I have to take care of both of them and I have to you know, drag my dad to social security services, try and beg the government to give us a handout. So for the next uh, uh, six years or so was a really painful time for my family during which, which is you know, what I suspect happened, uh, you know, I was, 13 years old at the time when it all started. So during those years, those formative years, I've just developed this desire, this really powerful, really, uh, you know, insatiable desire to get rich. That was, I mean, I didn't really, I really didn't want to get a job because I realized that a job is a dead end. Um, I right. watched people who were getting jobs and their life was not different day to day, week to week, month to month, year to year, decade to decade. So, uh, that's how I got online. Um, after reading Rich Dad, uh, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki, I got online and I, I tried MLM. And so I joined this $10 MLM program and I started dabbling in it. And for the next year or so, I get no results. So like if you can imagine the world's worst recruiter, the world's worst marketer, that was me. Not only I sucked at the whole technical part of it, I sucked at the marketing. I was very needy. I was literally begging people to sign up with me. Um, but I also, my my English wasn't as good as it is today. 
Like if you actually look up some of my videos from 10 years ago, you'll see it's a very thick Russian accent with a <laughs> with a gist of Israeli touch, you know. Uh, <laughs> the so, twist, the twist. The twist, yeah. So, um, but from there, I discovered the concept of affiliate marketing because the very first commission I've ever made was for an MLM funnel building software. It was called the MLM Mastermind System. And so this guy, Jonathan Bott, created a software where you could put in your information for your MLM and it would spit out a funnel that has a squeeze page and a sales page for you to promote your opportunity. And that's the first time I've made a commission online. I was like, wait a second. This is way better than MLM. My income does not depend on other people taking action. I don't have to chase them and get them on three-way calls. I can actually just share links and you know people will sign up. So that was that was the beginning. Now fast forward about I don't know maybe eight seven years later to today. I am uh, actually as we speak I've been uh, nominated to be a, a JVZoo, uh, one of the top affiliates for JVZoo for the year for the first quarter of 2018 or something like that. I mean they posted in the group I didn't really pay attention, uh, but yeah, I've already... that's, how, that's how that's how big <laughs> Igor is. He doesn't pay attention to any of the awards that he gets. This is how big this guy is. Okay, continue. Sorry. Yeah, so I mean, what good does an award give me if I mean it's it's a dollars in the bank account? Obviously, there's two two metrics. It's the dollars and the lives changed. That's it. So I mean, as far as this year so far, it's been a really successful year. Um, I've done I think four major promotions. Every time I do promotion, it's a seven day promo where I mail my list really hard. And uh, so far this year, in affiliate income alone. I believe we already crossed uh, $400,000 and that's not related to the agency side of things where I run a traffic agency, uh, my own products, uh, coaching, consulting gigs that I got going on. So 2018 seems to be like a good year. Yeah, I'm, we're definitely going to try and hit a record. Incredible. Well, Wayne, do you hear what we have in front of us here? This super affiliate that is absolutely brilliant. The guy has had the struggle. I almost needed you to pass me a tissue, Wayne, because of, <laughs> of the of the sad story that we had going on. But Wayne, why don't why don't you? Because you are are on your way with a similar type of path in developing in developing traffic domination, what are yeah. some things that maybe come to your mind that would be uh, beneficial for our listeners to, to really get gain an insight on that you want to ask Igor? It, it's interesting. We met um, about a year, a year and a half ago. So it's interesting the journey we've both had since then. It's really awesome to have Igor on here. Um, the biggest thing for the listeners, like, what is the one thing you'd say to focus on when you're, cause when you're trying to be successful? So when you, um, a lot of people flip thing to thing to th to thing all the time in in biz op, and they'll just never focus on one thing. But what is the most important thing? Would you say something like mindset, which I've found really helped me this year with thing circumstances in my life? Um, or would you say it's focus on traffic generation, just one form of it? What would you say is the most important thing? That's a really cool question. And and here's why this is um, oftentimes a newbie or a beginner cannot answer that question effectively on the internet. Because like you said, there's the whole, like e there's so many things online and they you're being hit with those things every single day. Everything is a business opportunity right now. Everything is a groundbreaking, amazing proprietary technique that delivers a million dollars overnight. So everything, <laughs> supposedly supposed to work it's supposed to work really fast and it's supposed to work without you putting in any effort so it's really hard to maintain the focus but what i find to be true just based on observing my own success which many times i created by accident and then just were able to reverse engineer that and kind of make it happen on purpose over and over again and also successes i've observed uh throughout the industry both the people i study and the people who i hang out with uh, naturally you know when you become a super affiliate, you just start painting out with other super affiliates. It's just kind of a natural thing that occurs. <laughs> I noticed that there's no one particular technique that makes you successful. So um, for me, it was traffic and email marketing. Uh, for someone like Jason Fladlian, that's webinars. If you ask Dan Kennedy, that's direct mail. If you ask my, uh, my coach, Tom Beal, uh, you know, it's speaking. If you ask my friend, John Cornetta, that's e-commerce, right? So everybody has their thing. 
Well, what I do know, what I what I can tell you with full uncertainty and conviction, and that if you take on this piece of advice, you will most likely be successful, okay, is that deep knowledge trumps um, being the, the, the jack of all trades. So in other words, rather than trying to master 12 skills, pick one skill that you know is capable of giving you that income that you want to do, and that, you know, hopefully you also enjoy doing. Like, for example, I enjoy writing emails. So yeah. for me, it was a no-brainer. So pick one skill and get so good at that skill and, and develop deep knowledge in that skill. And that is what most likely is going to make you successful in internet marketing. Awesome. You know, I can I can resonate with that because recently I, I have really made a transformation in the type of emails that I'm writing. I went from just using swipes and just kind of being, hey, check out this new product. It's really cool. It does this and you should buy it to story based emails. And when I was able to actually start connecting life stories that are actually happening to me and writing a compelling uh, copy in, in my email and then saying, hey, you know what? This is related to this in some way, shape or form, whatever product I'm promoting. My Not only do my emails uh, open rates go up, but they also get read more often and people are replying and clicking and buying more. Uh, when I actually focused, I started reading this book called The Boron Letters. I don't know if you've ever read that. Have you re have you Bless. read that, Igor? This yes, thing, I it's love that. Absolutely amazing book, okay, in my opinion, for anyone who's looking to be a copywriter. The guy is brilliant, okay? Gary Halbert, one of the greatest copywriters of all time. And my the last email that I sent out last week that did extremely well was uh, how a prisoner helped me from a heart attack, <laughs> okay? And everybody opened up that email. It was incredible. Uh, but it was it was because he dealt with health, he dealt with, with business, and he gave me some really great insight on what to consider to really become a better copywriter and really just a better entrepreneur all, all around. So Also, great uh, advice not to stay out of prison. <laughs> this guy, okay, so if you don't, if you guys don't know, we talked about it on the last episode. But Gary Halbert, he went to prison based on some mail fraud stuff. I think it was totally bogus. But the guy wrote some letters to his son from from the from the uh, crank, right? Uh, from the crank, and and he gave some really incredible advice. It's called the Boron Letters. Absolutely amazing. Don't do what he did and end up in prison because the government will come after you, especially the U.S. government. But uh, Igor, uh, my friend, you you are really a model of what it means to be a successful internet marketer. You already have given us a lot of gold with, when it comes to focus on one thing. Now, what is some of your advice to somebody who has been really – going at it for years, because I was one of those guys who've went at it for years uh, and was not seeing the results I was looking to get. I started focusing on one particular thing. In, in your experience, what seems to be really the most lucrative portion of the affiliate marketing industry? Okay, uh, what I'm going to share with you right now may sound counterintuitive. In fact, it may sound completely backwards to the whole affiliate marketing concept. <laughs> okay. But when I was when I just got into affiliate marketing, you know, I was really trying hard. I was running those ads and I was putting those ads to links and I was, you know, trying to to get people to download a bribe and then I would try to somehow weave in my affiliate link into the bribe like an ebook and kind of put it into context. I tried all of that. But there's nothing that I've ever done that was more effective than building my own buyer list and then promoting products to the buyer list. And the reason that happens is because, um, first off, it's easier. It's always easier to sell to someone who you've sold to before. So a buyer is a buyer is a buyer. Therefore, you end up making more money if you just position, just send out your affiliate links to people who are already buying from you. But second, there's also a relationship there. Uh, so in other words, if somebody comes in completely cold, before they can buy from you, have to establish authority, celebrity, credibility. You have to explain why they should buy from you, not some from other person. When you're talking to somebody who already trusts you with their money, even if all they gave you was seven dollars, you are communicating with a person who doesn't need you to tell them why they should do business with you. They already know that. Now the question is, Igor, what should I buy next? 
And that is really, really powerful. Every single successful promotion that I've done, anything over $10,000 for a single product, uh, be it through a webinar, a video sales letter, uh, a text sales letter, or just an email where I've had a buy link in an email, that too is possible. Um, every single promotion that worked really well was always done to an audience that already knew me liked me trusted me and at least a portion of that audience also exchanged money with me and what i also noticed is that um you don't need a huge buyer list to make a lot of money you can actually make six figures as an affiliate every year if your buyer list is around 200 people like it can be that small but that potent it's it's just gives you tremendous leverage Wayne, what are your thoughts on that? Because that to me, that to me is 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 completely foreign. <laughs> I'm not at that level. Really? <laughs> no, that that's that's awesome. That's exactly what we try and teach is building buyers list. I mean, and that no like and trust factor. That's um, you know, he said it himself. That's exactly what we try and do. What um, I try and do, and I mean, Eagle's pretty much perfected over the years. So um, hopefully, we can extract some more tips from him. Um, on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Igor. So building a buyer's list is going to be the quickest and easiest way for a brand new person to get involved. What is, in your opinion, the easiest way they can absolutely do that, that, that will uh, obviously do them well, and they can maybe even do it quickly. What, what What's a, yeah. a good tip that they can do for um, them? So here's the thing. When you're building a buyer list, there's two things you need. You need an offer of some kind and need traffic hitting that page uh, to get the buyers. Now, uh, most people get stuck on both elements. They don't know how to get either one. So I'm going to give you a blueprint that anyone can use, even if they got online yesterday, um, on how to build a buyer list really, really quickly. It may not be the most profitable way to do it, but it's definitely the fastest. So the first thing you'll need is a product to sell. And you can either create it yourself based on the knowledge and the experience you've had in the industry. And like you said, Rob, I mean, if somebody has been in the industry for five years, I'm sure they have enough experience to create at least some yep. kind of product, you know, be yep. it how to write emails, a WordPress plugin. I mean, it could be anything. Now, in case you're brand new or you lack the knowledge and the audacity to create your own product, you can always use a PLR product, private label rights. You can take a ready-made product and you know you can get it for as little as $10 sometimes. Um, and you can either rebrand it if you want, which I recommend, or uh, you can keep it the same, but kind of play with the content a bit, make it yours, kind of give it your own style, your own flair, if you will, and then go sell it for anywhere between seven and, and $27. Now, the key the key is to give away 100 percent commission on that product so get that product listed on an affiliate network or set up a privately a private affiliate program through like a, an affiliate software like i don't know post affiliate pro or anything like that just google affiliate software you can I mean, find find something real quick and you can start your own affiliate program and give 100 percent commission to people and then you can have other people promote your product for you but in exchange, you give them 100% commission, which means you just don't keep any money because you get the best thing ever, which is the buyer list. That's the true asset. So that's what I've done with my very first product launch. I've created a product. Um, um, actually, I didn't even create it, but I played with it. It was a PLR by Andrew Fox. I grabbed it. I improved the content. I gave it a different name and an e-cover. I sold it for seven bucks and had an upsell for $27, which was a PLR software, a software that created squeeze pages. So all you had to do is just put in the headline, the file name, uh, the color scheme, and your uh, your email autoresponder information, and it would spit out an HTML, HTML file uh, that looked decent enough, you know, that seemed like a squeeze page. So I sold that for 27 as an upsell to a $7 product, and I gave away 100% commission on both the front and the back end. I had a buyer list of 200 people within two months just by listing that product in like going, going to people and saying, hey, I'll give you 100% commission on everything uh, if you want to promote my product. Listen, guys, uh, those who are listening, you need to be paying attention to what Igor is saying because I implemented that very strategy. OK, that very strategy I implemented and it garnished me about 100 buyers emails within a seven day period when I launched mine. Um, and let me tell you, 
the buyer's list far outweighs what I make in any type of other list that I have. I do have other lists, okay? I give away stuff. I build free lists and things like that. But what Igor just has given you is a blueprint to get started in a six-figure business, okay? Yeah. This guy knows exactly what he's talking about. And sometimes, Igor, tell me if I'm wrong on this, okay? Sometimes people just make things more difficult than they should be. Always do. <laughs> they always do. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's not like I'm not guilty of that. Of course, I do it as well. Like, for example, right now, I'm really getting heavy into webinars. And for the last three months, I've been really conducting a webinar every week. And and here, you know, today I picked up a book by Jason Flavlian about webinars, and I'm like, oh my God, this is so simple. Why am I being a total douchebag and complicating <laughs> my own life about it, right? So now I have to go back and rework an existing webinar and simplify the process just to focus on the right things. But you kind of you learn. The important part, I guess, is just to believe you you can do it. Because uh, what I notice is that people pay ridiculous amounts of money for coaching to other people that don't necessarily even deserve that kind of money. Um, it just for those people to tell them, okay, do this. When they knew that all along, but ju they just needed someone else's permission to do it, which is the weirdest part because there's no, uh, there's no entity or government agency or a guru at the top of a mountain that tells you when you can and cannot finally start your online business there's no like requirement or prerequisite like you can get out of prison today and start an online business tonight uh, there's i mean your past your experience your age your sex uh it does not determine anything about your results in the on in an online business but somehow people are stuck on the idea that they're not worthy they're not capable they're not allowed to they're waiting for a diploma to be handing on their wall they, they're looking for some certification that's the new thing out there right people get certified in infusion soft and stuff like that I mean, who needs that just go and do it yeah you know i mean you talk about it doesn't really matter your background and i would say if you have a worse background you might even do better because your story will sound oh, yeah. better to the community out there all right, Wayne, so we've got Igor for just a couple of more minutes. You had a list of questions. Why don't you end us off with a question that you had? I, I saw it in the chat that we had. It was a pretty good question. Why don't you go ahead and ask it? So, like, obviously, what's happened to move recently? What would you say to listeners to give them confidence to, you know, they can just attack their internet mark business and what happened to kind of, these companies was not an epidemic that's going to spread everywhere yeah so i'm hearing that 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 same exact fear like i can smell that fear in the air where people are like oh mo got shut down oh da got shut down oh bitconnect got shut down us site got shut down oh my god what's going on yeah yeah okay. so so it, it reminds me of the days when uh, several years ago empower network went down and empower network was a yeah. big company they made over yeah. i think 100 million dollars um it was huge i don't i don't know any like you could quite literally spit in that direction and you would hit at least three people who were a part of empower network at one point <laughs> yeah. or another yeah. and i know i actually know people who joined empower network three times like they would join <laughs> what? they would then <laughs> yeah they would join under one sponsor they didn't like it they come out they would see another sponsor giving a better bonus they would go into that company and, and into that team so yeah <laughs> My point is this, uh, companies do get shut down for one reason or another. Sometimes it's FTC, other times it's merchant processing, other times you know, some affiliate doesn't get paid on time and they start spreading the bad news and all of a sudden everybody leaves the company. Uh, same true for MLMs. Absolutely the same is true for network marketing companies. Does that mean that internet marketing is shrinking and that we're all going to make less money and that 10 years from now internet marketing will not exist because FTC is going to come up with some some bullshit regulation that's going to say that you're not allowed to promote affiliate products anymore not at all not at all these companies the cases are completely individualistic uh, if you start digging into the circumstance if you start digging into um uh, the history and the connection, you will see the reason why they got in trouble with the FTC. Now, I'm not here to take any stance, whether it's good or bad or whatever. I can just tell you that 
um, it does not change the direction of the industry. And I've already seen three other companies very similar to Moog picking up pace as a result because we've seen a bunch of people take their tribes and kind of shift over to those other companies. So the the balance, like the industry balance of cash flow and the industry yeah. balance of, of financial abundance is going to recalibrate and the industry is going to keep growing because look at the economy. That's what you really need to be paying attention to. It's not about MOB. It's not about DA. It's about what's going on. Like, for example, I'm in Canada right now. And because of what Trump is doing, um, I think uh, General Motors in Canada will lose 80,000 jobs. So 80,000 people will be left with no income after giving like 10, 15, 20 years to General Motors. Now, what's gonna, that, what that is going to do to the economy, now that's the scary proposition. So is it scary to promote intermarketing products? No, it's scary not to because the, you know, the outlook, the grim outlook of the of the fi financial situation of our economy is is kind of looking at us uh, and tell us, man, you better build a, a passive secondary stream of income exactly. right away. That's right. That's right. So, well, <laughs> but uh, thank you, Igor. Thank you so much for visiting the podcast. Why don't you give us a quick little plug on how people can get to know a little bit more about Igor? Sure, absolutely. Um, I suggest you go to Igor.cx and attend my free training where I show you how to get 50 to 500 new leads each and every single day on complete autopilot without touching your computer. Um, and it doesn't involve social media, Facebook ads, or uploading videos on YouTube or any doing any kind of you know geek work, if you will. So if you want to get traffic on autopilot, go ahead and visit Igor.cx, attend my free training, and uh, we'll, we'll talk to you then. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, super affiliate king, Igor. K. Fitz, thank you so much for visiting our podcast, Traffic Domination. This is Rob Reese along with your host with the most, Wayne, the man, Crow. And we will see you guys again next week. Make sure you guys tune in on iTunes, on Stitcher, all the other podcast catchers. Check us out on YouTube. Also, follow us on Facebook for all of our uh, other events as well. So thanks a lot, guys. We will see you next week. Take care, guys.